So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yalan, a scientific curator from uh, the gene expression team at AMBO EBI. And it's my great pleasure to have this opportunity to share our work. And I will give a brief talk about bio-curation of multiplexed single-cell RNA-seq experiments to show how we uh, annotate single-cell um, multi-omics and spatial sequencing data. So first, I would like to introduce our team. So we are responsible for Array Express, a public archive for functional genomics data and its submission tool, Annotaire, that makes it easy for everyone to submit their data sets to Array Express. And in line with the community guidelines on metadata standards, we support fair sharing practices and provide well annotated functional genomics data to the community. And we are also the team behind the knowledge. Sorry. Hmm? Ah, here. We are also the team behind the knowledge basis expression atlas and the single cell expression atlas. And our express is the major data source for them. And single cell expression atlas is where we reprocess and visualize publicly available transcriptomics uh, data and across uh, various species. And since last September, our Express has been migrated into Bell Studies, and this is the new link. And the left browse our Express will show you all the experiments, and you can explore what you are interested in. And the right uh, submit an experiment will lead you to Annotair, where you can create your ac own account and start your submissions. So far, there have been over 16,600 submissions created in Annotair since it launched uh, pro, uh, in mid-2014, and nearly uh, 10,000 submissions have been successfully submitted and accessioned. A major advance in the genome sequencing is the ability to investigate transcriptome at a single-cell resolution. And with, since the emergence of commercial single-cell sequencing platforms, this technology has been widely accepted by the community. So in Array Express, there are nearly 700 public single-cell experiments, and the droplet-based uh, single-cell sequencing is the major, tep, uh, major type, which takes up around 70% of all the single-cell experiments in Array Express. And from this plot, we can see the uh, trend of growth of uh, the number of single cell submissions um, per year. And also we uh, notice that uh, the multiplexed single cell experiments start emerging um, as well in recent years. And so originally the droplet based uh, sequencing uh, generates just a one library type per cell, so after cell isolation, we get an aliquot of cell suspensions, and then the droplet-based library is uh, constructed, which is usually the gene expression library. And next, it gets sequenced, and the sequencing uh, reads are saved into a FASTQ file format. And in our annotator, we have a template for the single cell uh, submissions, which includes the single cell specific fields. And the users can choose this template at the beginning of their submissions. And here uh, we show an example of a reduced sample table to uh, present how we uh, to show how we present a basic single cell experiment. And for the multiplex single cell experiment, it's more complex as it generates multiple library types from one single cell. The Feature barcode technology adds extra layers of uh, information to cells and can be combined to the gene expression or immune profiling. A feature barcode is a molecular tag. For instance, it can be an, an, array, uh, sorry, an antibody derived tag that binds to a cell surface uh, protein uh, to quantify its distinct expression, or it could be a hashtag uh, oligonucleotide that binds to a cell surface protein which is uh, ubiquitously expressed across various cell types. And this enables to uh, trace sample origin when cells from different origins are pulled and sequenced together. And so we update our curation practice uh, to better present this uh, multiplexity accurately. By adding the uh, suffix showing the library type in the sample name, uh, users can easily distinguish the relationship and can map the multiplexing library back to the biological sample where they originate from. And also for the feature barcode library, we annotate the uh, read2 as the feature barcode. Another 
type of, oh, sorry. Another type of multiplexing is the concept of spatial uh, transcriptomic data, which uh, links the gene expression profiles to the location of the biological sample. And here we use 10x Visium uh, spatial technology as the example. So uh, this technology has a graded uh, capture area, ha has several uh, graded capture areas, and uh, onto which uh, the, sample, uh, the tissue are placed. And each spot has a unique spatial barcode that um, maps the RNA transcriptome back to this location. So as an image of the uh, biological sample uh, is captured prior to uh, nucleic acid extraction, we ask the submitters to upload the image files and assign them to the corresponding samples. And Sorry, it shifts a little bit. So here, I mean, the read one tab is annotated as the spatial barcode instead of the cell barcode, as one uh, spot in the capture area does not um, necessarily correspond to a cell. And to facilitate the data reproducibility, that users can map the transcriptome from each uh, spot back to the uh, original image of the tissue, we also include a file containing the spatial barcode location. And with the advances in the uh, sequencing uh, technology, uh, the gene expression team continuously improving our curation standards to provide a well-structured and comprehensive sample annotation to our user as well as the wider community. And here I would like to thank our group leader as well as everyone on the gene expression team, especially our lovely bell curation team, Nancy, Sylvie, Jose, Laura, and Sandeep, as well as Anya, who was working with us before. And also many thanks to our funders and collaborators, and please feel free to get in contact with us by following us on Twitter or send us an email. And many thanks for your attention, and any questions and suggestions are welcome. Very well with time. So, questions? Yes. Uh, do you have any plans to actually um, display the, the spatial data, the images on the, uh, the spatial data in some browsable form on the site rather than just as downloadable? Well, right now, uh, with our uh, website, we are not able to present the image file, but we are collaborating with Bell Image uh, team to discuss it, this, uh, how we have a better way to present this image file, and how yeah, can we work on this together. Okay, so I have a question on Array Express because it's such an old resource, mm -hmm. and scientists evolved so quickly between the time it was created. Yeah. And, and so how consistent is the annotation? I mean, is everything that is uh, that you can use, knowledge, is not full of gaps sometimes just because the, uh, the way it was um, organized was missing the point but, but because uh, it's old data. Yes. So is, is there some discrepancies because of having old data? Uh, you mean for the how we annotate the old uh, experimental yeah, data? Yes. Um, Do you have to re-annotate the old experiments? Uh, as far as I know, uh, we don't really uh, re-annotate those okay. old data. We just uh, maintain what they present. Mm -hmm. as it is, and, but for the uh, new technologies, we keep improving our curation standards to better present it in, the, uh, in a better way mm -hmm. for users to uh, understand what has happened in this experiment. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Any further, I think everybody is a bit tired and uh, we have 18 seconds, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.